What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another live sourcing video. We are back at Marshall's. I am in a time crunch today. So it is currently 4.23. I need to be somewhere at 5 p.m. And I need about like 10 minutes to get there. So I'm going to see how much money I can find on these shelves in Marshall's in 10 minutes. I'm gonna have a timer going and everything, giving myself 10 minutes to source these shelves in Marshalls. Of course it's raining today in South Florida. So being in a time crunch at Marshalls, oof. Do I wanna do beauty? Do I wanna do equipment? I just did equipment at Ross. So I think I'm gonna check out the beauty clearance first cause I just love the beauty clearance and it's pretty good at Marshalls. So let's go there. Seems like they just restocked their beauty clearance section so i have a really good feeling about this and my 10 minute timer has officially started already found a winner like eight seconds in there's two units of this true glow conair brush six bucks selling on amazon for almost 25 dollars so i scanned these using the nepeto app and the Nepeto app now has a new feature with variations where they tell you like the exact variation, how much it sells each month, which is a game changer. It shows like 200 a month pulled directly from Amazon. I'm gonna make almost an 80% ROI on each in five seconds. Another winner, this lotion, $10 at Marshall's, two units. So two of these, $10 each, selling on Amazon for $22. Lotions, I like to FBM. So I'm gonna put all these metrics on screen. I don't think it'll cost me any more than like $4.85, maybe max $5 to ship, but an easy $4 profit on each unit and almost a 40% ROI, so. We're at $18 profit and I still have about five minutes left, so let's do it. Okay, so I think I hit the jackpot. This Kapari, body wash. I've never sold Kapari on Amazon, but I do use it personally for a like face mask that they have, but it's $7. If you guys can see that something on Amazon. Okay. But that's not even the thing. There's literally like, here's four. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 units. 21 sellers selling on Amazon for a little over $18, making a little over a $4 profit. I'm gonna FBM this. Any type of lotion, body wash, shampoo, things like that, I like to FBM. Um, here's the thing though. I have a little bit of wiggle room, so I'm actually gonna drop the price and sell this for $17.50, $17.75-ish. Shipping really shouldn't cost me any more than like $4.50, $4.85 to ship. 12 units, you guys. Come on. Just putting $54 into my cart right now as we speak. Just literally finding $50 bills at Marshall's. $72 profit, you guys. And I have a whopping three minutes left. And you guys know I don't like to leave here without making at least $100. So let's, let's keep going. So when I find one thing out of a brand and then I see other styles or different variations, then I scan them. So like, for example, here's another Kapari, but like this one is gross. So I'm not gonna scan that or sell that. But like, here's this one. Okay, so another two units of winners. This one that I said, when you see one that is working, like a brand that's profitable and you see other variations of it, scan them. Cause you never know. This one again, seven bucks, selling on Amazon for almost the same, 17.98, still seven bucks, still about 450 to ship. There's two units making me almost $4 a unit again. Another thing that I really like to see, and I'm gonna pop it up on screen, is the buy box history that uh, Nepeto shows. So, and with this specific product, with this Kapari, is that what I'm even saying, right? With this one specifically, they share the buy box so much between anywhere from like 16 to $19. So that's huge when you're thinking of making a purchase, like is the buy box being shared because you want it to be shared. It's a really big metric to look at because it's super important for that buy box to be, to really be being filtered, is that correct? To really be being filtered through all sellers that are on the listing anywhere from 16 to $18. 80 bucks total in this cart with a little bit over a minute to spare. So maybe I could find one more. Okay, I'm gonna see if I could find a winner on the way to check out, hopefully with my freaking squeaky cart. Okay, so nothing else found. Now I'm officially going to check out um, with probably no seconds left, honestly. 
Um, so let's check out and let's get out of here. Almost $100 made at Marshall's in 10 minutes. I am sweating. Like, look at the grease. The grease on my forehead is greasing. You could definitely uh, make a pizza on that. Oh my gosh, that time crunch. I was like, but I felt like I found the best stuff in the time crunch. So maybe if you're like, I can never find something at Marshall's, give yourself like a time limit. Oh my gosh, look at my, look at my hair. Okay, just give me a second. Hold on. So I was really trying to find a few more products before I left, but I just, I, I didn't find it. Not gonna lie, I did not find it. But almost $100 made in literally 10 minutes at Marshall's just in the beauty clearance section. I'm gonna FBM everything, everything that I have. Which is two bags worth of stuff. Like I got so much body wash. Thank you guys so much for watching another live sourcing video at Marshall's. I don't know how I would have done some of that sourcing if I wasn't using the Nepeto app and using their AI photo scan feature. Comment down below another store that I should do this live sourcing at. Whether it is another like TJ Maxx, Burlington, or if it's literally like Walmart, Target, anything like that, comment a store down below. As always, let's keep finding and flipping.